Merry meet and welcome to Lux Dragon Queen Magic. I'm Taylor and today is our Witchy Wednesday. And so for today we're going to be celebrating Beltane. And so Beltane is a really great holiday to just get closer to fire. It's considered a fire festival, if you will. And a lot of times what you're celebrating is the rebirth of energy and you're burning away what no longer serves you. And then you are able to see what remains and really rebirth yourself from the past. This is also a great time to gather with friends. And like I said, just have that big bonfire, maybe talk about the things that you're working on or what you're excited to get going within your lives. This is also a great time to work on creative projects. So another great thing that you can gather with loved ones to do if that is something that you go for. And then I always like to have a meal with roasted veggies and if I can cook something over an open campfire then that's what I try to do during this holiday. And then of course the other things to know about Beltane is that this is a holiday that does celebrate sexuality and sensuality as the uh, goddess representation of the maiden starts to become closer into becoming the mother. So this is the start of a transformation into the next phase of the life. And so it's really important to just embrace passions in all forms and just really get going with that adventure. So what I'm going to do today is I've written down some things that no longer serve me that I want to release this energy, these emotions into the universe. And I'm going to go ahead, light this fire. And then once it has burned out and cooled down, I'm going to show you guys some ash divination. So see you soon. Merry meet and welcome again. So as you can see here, I waited until my ashes were cooled down before continuing forward. That's very important. You definitely don't want to burn yourself. But then what I did after is for me, as you saw, I just did it in my mini cauldron. And so I was able to just go ahead and take everything from that cauldron and pour it out. The other thing that you can do though is if you just had a big fire is that you can just take a handful of ash or even just a small sprinkling and bring it inside to where you sprinkle it onto a clean surface or a piece of paper as I have done here and ultimately then just like we have done with some other divination is you're going to go ahead and look for the patterns that you see within it and you're going to see exactly how those symbols can relate to you and this rebirth that we're going through within this season and so it's very literal that we are taking the ashes of what no longer serves us in order to create and move towards what will work for us so ultimately like for myself right now and I apologize if you guys cannot see this, but it almost seems to me like this outline is in the shape of an animal. I'm playing around in my mind in regards to what it looks like. I kind of want to say a deer, but I've been <laughs> reading Shadow and Bone, so that might be why. I'm also getting like some bull energy, which Beltane, if you don't know, and I haven't said it here, is associated with the bull because it is Taurus season. And... Um, so we do still have that imagery coming through, but I also kind of see like someone in a saddle riding. So I'm wondering, so I'm leaning away from a bull closer to a, um, a deer, uh, but also I'm seeing maybe possibly a horse, but I'm thinking, I really am seeing more and more the deer as I talk. So I'm going to go ahead and take that as the animal for me. And what I always like to do is you can always rely on your intuition and say, what does the deer mean to me? What does the symbol mean to me? And then that's how you build up your own symbol library. I believe we've talked about that before. And you can also refer to other um, sources, resources that you have available to you. There's so many across the internet that you can just Google and look up exactly what the spiritual meaning is behind the symbols that you're looking into. And the other thing that you can do too is that you can use dream interpretation for the same kind of pattern reveal that you're doing here. So for instance, you very much could look into a dream dictionary for the symbols that you're looking into and that may help further clarify the images that are coming through to you. So the other thing too is when you sprinkle it upon the page, you can do it in a number of different ways. I sprinkled it all around to just what felt right, but you also can just dump it out around and then shake the paper. I don't want to shake mine because I'm going to continue reading further on this. Uh, but ultimately, you really just want to know more about what you are trying to get out of the situation and how you can further empower yourself. So for instance, something that's really coming, coming out for me when I look at this, so I was looking at the negative space before, but when I look at the actual ash, there's not a lot going on here. And so if we're saying that the direction I'm going in is in this one, then I'm really leaving behind all that no longer serves me, all these little things that do not really matter and I'm becoming more focused but it does seem like I have this big blockage right in front of me that is holding me back and so working to determine exactly what that blockage is and how I can clear the path further is going to be so beneficial for me personally 
moving forward into what I can accomplish. The other thing that's coming through with that is because this is an animal and for me I'm seeing it being ridden by someone is I need to decide am I the animal or am I the one riding the animal or is this a certain partnership that is coming forward. So a lot of times I do, oh yeah it is even in the absence of space it is white so I was just going to say a lot of times I like to relate to the white stag and there has been in my journey to the Akashic Records and the fields, I have come across the White Stag multiple times and worked within the Violet Flame. And so this is a very interesting energy coming forward. Personally, I'm probably going to think on it for days to come because that's just who I am. But I am very intrigued by the sense of why I'm seeing the White Stag now and... Oh wow, okay, so something that just came through is that I am being carried and supported by spirit in order to overcome this obstacle. Because if you think about it, I am not as connected to that obstacle and it is beneath me. I am able to overcome whatever this giant hurdle may be and to really find myself focused on moving forward and looking ahead. So that was kind of a lot about my own personal reading, but I kind of just wanted to give you guys a little bit so that you can get a feel for how you can do this for yourselves. But ultimately that is the goal is to find a small fun way that you can celebrate Beltane while still doing a little bit of magic. And you don't have to do this part of it. I just think it's a really great opportunity since we are talking about fire. There's a lot of Phoenix energy too. And so what comes from the ashes is how we will be able to rebuild. So I especially think the energy right now is to harness and alchemize what no longer serves you into something that does serve you and benefit you and support you into the being that you're trying to be. So I'm going to go ahead and end it there. I want to thank you guys for being here. I want to thank you for liking and subscribing. Please do not forget to comment below. Definitely let me know if you try this method yourself or if there are some other ways that you're celebrating Beltane and let's definitely learn together and celebrate. And I will see you guys next time. Blessed be.